guys, Pin Curl Pearl here. Today I'm going to be doing part two of my wet set brush out style. If you haven't had a chance to watch part one where I actually set my hair, I left a link below so you can check that out. So let's get started with this style. Here's a list of products and materials that I'll be using. When the music goes to rock. Once you have the sponge rollers out of your hair, you're just going to start by sectioning off the front area that we'd use the big rollers on. So I'm going to take this and just put it, section it with my duck bills, like this. And then we're going to work on the sides and the back. So we're going to start by brushing the hair out thoroughly. We're going to be using any coarse bristled brush. I picked this one up at an antique store, but you can get one anywhere where brushes are sold. Well, while we're brushing the hair, you want to make sure that you're brushing it really, really well. Don't be scared that you're going to brush out your curls because they're very, very durable. And if you don't brush it well, you will not get a nice set. So let's start. Also, don't be afraid that the hair looks crazy at first. It'll all style out, but you really need to make sure that these curls are brushed thoroughly. When I first started doing this, I was really, really afraid. I really babied these curls. You can't do that. Make sure that you're getting in there, brushing them through. All these curls brush through. All right, well, that's a good start there. All right, now that I have the curls brushed through pretty nice, we're going to start with a teasing comb. So I use the teasing comb to kind of sculpt the hair and tease it a little bit. So I'm going to start here on the sides and work my way around. So I just take this comb here and I'm just going to be brushing the ends under. I'm doing a more sculpted look today. If you wanted from this style, you could just kind of do a curlier look, but I like that more sculpted look. So we're going to take this and we're just going to start brushing the hair under. And as you're brushing it, you're just going to want to kind of tease up, give it a little bit of volume. You can kind of use your duck bills to clamp where you'd like your waves to be. You're just constantly combing. It's lots and lots of combing. If you're doing a wet set and brushing it out, you got to keep brushing and combing. And not every wet set is going to be the same. So don't think just because you achieved a look one time, you're going to get it the next time. There's always going to be little variations of it, just depending on hair, how the hair wants to lay. Brush and brush and brush. Using just a little hairspray just to set things as I go. Today I'm using Kenra as my setting spray. You want to make sure that you're marrying these hair parts together so it all looks cohesive in the end. All right, let's start with some more duck bills over here and here. spray all right so working on the back now a lot of times I'll do this in my bathroom with another mirror so I can see what's going on I'm gonna wing it for you today it's just a lot of fine-tuning once you have it kind of set you're just gonna go back and keep combing and fixing just little areas that you see 
You know, some people are super perfectionists. I'm not really. Once I get it set, it looks semi-okay. I just roll with it. I'll try to do a stellar job today for you, though. Work on this side. So usually I take, once I do the front, I take it to this side. So this side is really the side that I'm going to make sure it looks really nice because this hair is going to go on top of here. So over here I usually like to start by taking this area. And usually I wear it behind the ear. I'll pin it like right here and then do like a wave area here. Brush, brush, brush. So I'm going to pin this, the bobby pin, it's right behind the ear here, give it a little spray, like that. tease this a little bit here, and brush it up. I'm kind of liking how this is going like that. So I'm going to take my duck bell, clamp on here, and work on this area a little bit more. Okay, I'm going to need another bobby pin. Right there. Some more duck bells. back area right. All right, and I'm going to move on. I'm going to take this out. And I'm going to move on to this front area. So for the front area, I'm going to use a teasing comb and just tease, 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 tease. It's kind of crazy, I know. You really want to make sure that this hair is all one piece here. So T's and T's. I'm going to take my teasing brush, brush it out. Brush out this part here. Hairspray. So usually I do this one of two ways. I'll either take this and roll this part into like a pin curl or some kind of roll, which is one way you can do it. Like this. Okay. You get nice volume here in the front. Just gonna hairspray it, brush it. Take this. A lot of times I'll just put a pin right here. Here's real smooth. All right, now I gotta do something with this area. Let's give it a little tease and brush it out. It's a lot of fiddling and figuring out, you know, sometimes your hair will go a certain way, sometimes it won't listen. So you just gotta kinda play with it, kinda see where the hair is gonna lay and go with it. 
See, I'm liking that. So let's do this. and straight okay so I like that I'm gonna try to pin this here and once again here kind of framing the face right there that has a nice vibe to it get some of these duck bills Fix the hair as we go. Just like that. Okay. Fill out over here. Like that. All right. Last but not least, I'm going to take a little bit of pomade. I'm just going to get the loose ends, all the little things that are flying around. Make sure those are all down. The little hairs in the front. Making sure it's really nice and sculpted. Like that. There we go. Over here. Okay. I usually always wear a flower in my hair, so the final step is I usually put a flower in. I think I'm going to put it right on this side today. There we go. Final step is I use a hard hold hairspray just to hold everything down. Lots and lots of hairspray. how to achieve a brush out style with a wet set. Thanks again guys for watching this video. If you'd like to see other videos on vintage makeup, hair, and styling, please like and subscribe to my channel, Pin Curl Pearl, your vintage beauty expert.